Okay, hello again everyone, Aaron Warner with Good News Training down here at Anytime Fitness in West Lebanon. And recently you might have seen a post that we put on to our Facebook page, or Anytime Fitness West Lebanon Facebook page, talking about women and barbell training. And it got in depth into some of the reasons why women are maybe afraid to barbell train or intimidated by it, but also some of the reasons that women do barbell train uh, and get benefits from it. And the whole purpose of this series is to explain how to barbell train why the barbell training, how to get the most out of it, and still maintain that nice feminine figure uh, that women look for. So, the first thing that we want to make sure that you're aware of when it comes to pre preparing yourself for barbell training is how to warm your body up. And as you can see these two right here, we have Melissa and Christina, who both have done a fair amount of barbell training. Um, are on top of these little black thing here is what are called bile foam rollers. And these foam rollers are intended to help break up tight tissue in your muscles. And so what they're doing right now is when you, when you do barbell training, some of the exercises you do are squats and deadlifts, things like that. Well, if you have tight calves, it makes it harder for your ankles to move. And so by getting on this foam roller and rotating the different parts of the calf muscle onto the roller, they're gonna be able to find these adhesions in their muscles that'll so feel a little tender. Uh, and they're going to work it out, they can move their feet and ankles around, break up that tight tissue, it's kind of like a self-massage. Uh, and what that will do is make it easier for those ankles to move while they're doing their squats or their deadlifts or whatever else it might be. Another muscle that we want to get is these hip muscles right in here. The butt muscles, particularly one deep in the side of the hip called the piriformis. So as you can see, they've rotated onto one hip. They've crossed the leg over, and now they're going to be looking around in that side of the hip there uh, for tenderness. And again, when they find it, they're going to stay on it, or they might pull that knee into a stretch to increase it uh, and, and, and get that release out of there. And then they're going to want to do both sides. And then lastly, we're going to do the quadriceps. So they're going to lay on top of the roller, uh, and so they're going to get the top of their thighs on the roller there. And what you'll see is uh, the quadricep is a nice big muscle. There's four of them. That's why it's called a quadricep. And so they want to roll all around the top of the thigh. There's a tendency to get tighter in the outer part of the thigh on one leg. So what Melissa can do is cross the leg over, rotate onto the outer part of that thigh. Another effective movement is to bend the knee and break up that adhesion in there. And then once they get done doing that, those thighs are going to move a whole lot better. So with the calves, the thighs, and the hips, all moving better is going to be easier to do some of the basic barbell exercises that we're going to work on today. And uh, that's the first step to the warm-up.